the PS5 will be 100 times faster than the PlayStation 4. In this video, I'm going to tell you how that's possible and why it's so important. Let's get into it. What's up, my fellow gamers? It's Saltiest Gaming. We're back with another PlayStation 5 video. If it's your first time here and you want to stay up to date with all things PlayStation 5, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for future notifications. Like I was saying in the intro, the PlayStation 5 is set to be a hundred times faster than the PlayStation 4. Now that's a nice little sentence there. It kind of draws your attention in, but what does that really mean for us PlayStation gamers? Why do we need to care that the system itself is going to be so much more faster than the current PlayStation 4, considering how successful the PlayStation 4 has been and the kind of games that we've seen on it so far? Well, don't fret because I'm about to tell you the importance of it and why some people are confusing what is actually going on when it comes to next gen and the SSD. Back in March, Sony and PlayStation did an hour long stream with Mark Cerny, the guy behind it all, the tech genius, the wizard, whatever you wanna call him. During the hour long presentation, Sony and Cerny unveiled what kind of tech would be powering the PlayStation 5 in an extensive, kind of boring hour long presentation. During the hour long stream, Cerny was particularly keen to talk up the developmental possibilities presented by the SSD, calling the solid state drive the key to next generation. For instance, he explained that super quick SSD will allow the PlayStation 5 to load two gigabits of data in around one quarter of a second, which is roughly 100 times faster than the PlayStation 4's hard drive. As a player, you'd wait for the game to boot, wait for the game to load, wait for the level to reload every time you die, then wait for what's called fast travel. All of that is what leads to the dream. What if we could not just have an SSD, but a blindingly fast SSD? After he said this, lots of people kind of rolled their eyes because they're like, well, it's just an SSD. What are you gonna do? It's just gonna load stuff faster, right? Not necessarily. It means that the game boots in a second. There are no load screens. The game just fades down while loading a half dozen gigabytes and then fades back up again. The same for your reload. You're immediately back in action after you die while fast travel becomes so fast, it's a blink and you miss it kind of a thing. Then he showed this graphic, right? A lot of numbers here. And I'm not a smart guy. I'm a simple guy when it comes to stuff like this. Math, I mean, who wants to do it, right? But he broke down what's going on, right? The bandwidth, the seek time, the load time, and the the PlayStation 5 just blows everything that happened this generation out of the water. Fast forward from March to May and Epic did a presentation of the Unreal Engine 5 and what happened. Tim Sweeney was talking about the state of the presentation and how it was only possible on the PlayStation 5 due to the technology in the box, how well rounded it was, specifically the SSD tech. He said lots of things that pissed off the PC master race, lots of things that pissed off the Xbox guys, but he had to kind of explain why the state of the art memory bank is set to eliminate fast travel delays and loading times and why the presentation was only possible on the PlayStation. Of course, when people heard this, they said, oh, this guy's lying. This isn't true. There's SSDs that are comparable on the market. People that do YouTube videos that are specific to tech bought $2,000 SSD cards on the internet and showed it off and said, hey, look, we got the same kind of tech that's in the PlayStation 5 in the PC. And then you had other people saying, oh, this could be run on everything and anything. Of course, Unreal Engine 5 is going to run on everything. It's gonna run on PC, it's gonna run on mobile, it's gonna run on Xbox. But the way that they showed off a presentation, the Unreal 5 tech demo, is it gonna be the same or would it have to be changed? Sweeney has said himself that it would have to be changed if it was to run on the Xbox Series X. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, developers determination what that would mean. I'm not an expert there. So when the PlayStation 5 tech dive, the deep dive, whatever you wanna call it, happened, I did a video and I was kind of disappointed Pointed basically because I was focusing too much on the flops and that's that's an Xbox thing right I mean teraflops is the end-all be-all everything else right having the most powerful system if you have the GPU power you have everything not necessarily okay there's lots of people that have come out and said the PlayStation 5 is the most well-rounded piece of technology and the fact that they're trying to push something that hasn't been pushed before if you look at what's happened this generation I've talked about it on the podcast we've talked a lot about GPU power 
teraflops, et cetera, et cetera, right? The Xbox Series X is going to have a beast GPU, right? Sporting 12 teraflops of power. The Xbox One X had six teraflops of power. So we've experienced what it is to have these good GPUs. The CPUs are going to be one of the things that developers are excited for because it's been the bottleneck this entire generation, those Jaguar cores. Your GPU could be as powerful as you want it, but if you have a bottleneck that exists, it's going to hamper development of games. So the CPU is going to be very important, but the fact that this SSD is going to be 100 times faster than the PS4, it doesn't mean just loading times. That's going to be awesome because that's been one of my nitpicks this generation is slow load times. You're wasting time. You're an adult. You only have so much time to do stuff, and then you're at constant load screen, load screen, load screen, load screen. You're going to be able to enhance the sense of immersion in games. Sony said this, we expect to improve not just the resolution, but the speed of games through a custom designed high speed SSD. We plan to realize game data processing speeds that are approximately 100 times faster than the PlayStation 4. That's a huge claim. The document goes on to say that it's used to make traveling through worlds immersive. If you looked at the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo, she's flying through that canyon at real time. Things are exploding. How fast she's moving in real time with all that stuff going in, no pop in, draw distances and everything else like that. That's only possible because of the SSD and the load times. It's been a big issue this generation for developers. They've had to plan worlds due to the limitations of the hard drive and they've had to cut ideas. I've heard this from multiple people that ideas for games had to be left on the drawing floor, right? Because of the limitations of the tech. Now that we have improved CPUs, now that we have these SSDs, the game developers are going to be able to do things that they haven't been able to do this generation when it comes to games. Ed Boon from Mortal Kombat, the studio head, had this to say about the PlayStation 5 and the Series X when it comes to their SSDs. He said that we're underestimating the power and the importance of the SSD. If anybody's going to know about the importance of SSDs and the tech thereof, I would trust someone like Ed Boon. He's been in the gaming industry for a while and he talked about teraflops, rates racing and all that other stuff. But what he was truly excited for was that true generational leap with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X when it comes to their SSD. Boone did an interview with Jeff Keighley as part of the Summer's Games Fest and he sang praises of the next gen consoles, but specifically the fact that the SSDs are going to be a generational leap. He said this, I think people are underestimating the impact that the almost zero load times is going to have. It's suddenly going to open doors that we weren't considering before that weren't possible before. I think we haven't even scratched the surface of what will eventually be done with those systems. Boone went on to say, to me, the graphics are a given. Okay, the graphics are going to be better, but this new way of handling memory and loading and stuff like that is going to be huge. So Ed Boone's just another example of people with the know inside the industry of how important the SSD is going to be when it comes to next generation. Now you can listen to all these dudes on the internet try to tell you it's all about the teraflops, but per Personally, I like to listen to what developers have to say because they've been on the inside, they've been making games, and I would say the far vast majority of developers are super excited for the SSD. If you did a poll, I would say 85% of the developers would come out and say that the SSD is the thing that they're looking forward to most when it comes to these next generation consoles and then development of games. Specifically for PlayStation, it's going to be very important for their first party development, specifically for games like open world games like Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn 2 that's going to be on the Decima engine and then Days Gone which is going to be on Unreal Engine 5. The possibilities are crazy and I can't wait to see what kind of optimization and changes that the first party takes advantage of specifically because the way the things look on the 1.8 teraflop system on the slim that I'm playing on is wizardry. So the fact that they're going to have 10 plus teraflops of GPU with a badass CPU and the SSD and lots of RAM man, it is going to blow our minds. We just got to be patient, but there's probably going to be a reveal coming up here in June, and I can't wait. Tim Sweeney, the head of Epic Entertainment, took some black when he said the PlayStation 5's SSD is far ahead of high-end PCs. He said this, and lots of people, like I said, pushed back because they don't like to hear this kind of thing, especially with consoles and, and PCMR guys. When you say that something on console is better than the PC, they just lose their mind. But he had to say this about the PlayStation 5 tech. He said, I think first of all, Sony has a massive
massive, massive increase in graphics performance compared to previous generations. But you know, I guess we get that every generation. Sweeney joked, but Sony's made another breakthrough that in many ways is more fundamental, which is multi-order magnitude increase in storage bandwidth and reduction in storage latency. The PlayStation 5 puts a vast amount of flash memory very, very close to the processor. So much that it really fundamentally changes the trade-offs that games can make and stream it. And that's absolutely critical to a demo like the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. This is not just a whole lot of polygons and memory. It's also a lot of polygons being loaded every frame as you walk around through the environment. And this sort of detail you don't see in the world would absolutely not be possible at any scale without these breakthroughs that Sony has made. So you could tell that Sweeney was praising the hell out of this SSD tech, the SSD solution that Sony has put a lot of emphasis on. Sweeney said that Sony storage architecture is far ahead of the best SSD solution you can buy on PC today. And so it's really exciting to be seeing the console market push forward the high end PC market in this way. Man, those are fighting words when it comes to PCMR guys. They don't like to hear that their stuff is inferior in any way, but I don't think Tim Sweeney, the epic lead head guy is going to say this stuff and not mean it. Obviously he's explained himself the difference between the PlayStation 5 SSD and the PC SSD. And you can go back and forth if you want to, but I tend to agree with Tim Sweeney and Mark Cerny and Ed Boone and all these experts in the gaming industry that the SSD tech in the PlayStation 5 is second to none. It's truly next generational. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of all this information? Are you excited for the possibilities of game development and game design and loading times and all the stuff that you've seen? The Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. What do you guys have to say with all this information? Are you guys excited for it? What features are you most excited for when it comes to the PlayStation 5? I want to hear from you guys. Like I teased in the video, there is an event happening in June. It's just inevitable. So stay tuned for that. I'll have more information about that in the coming weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon for future notifications. Stay safe, stay inside, play some video games. And as always, it's about the games, not the flops. Stay salty, my friends.